Hi everyone, it's Mina. Welcome to episode 6, day 7 of Dear Blade Diary. Let's start with Van Leon. You can get the scroll from Rudan and click on it to fight with the lion. It's not working. Oh, I can't take any use item while in dark side skill. Shame. Well, that's how we learn, right? If you complete the Rose Garden dailies 5 times, you get this Rose Knight medal. I think it's one of the prettiest one. Oh, but I didn't get any accessories. Hmm, let's try to fuse the gears to get new bonus stats. To fuse level 130 gears, you need at least level 5 of alchemy. If you have harvested gold flowers in the field, you might have enough ingredients to level it up. You can buy empty bottles from the merchant. I'll be back after harvesting more gourd flowers. Sunday's Monster Park gives you EXP coupons, so don't miss it. You can clear 7 times a day per world, including 2 free clears. I already did twice with other characters, so I bought 2 additional entry tickets using reward points from the cash shop. From the box, you'll get EXP coupon and coins. You can get these special potions using coins. Let's try out new boss, Magnus. Easy Magnus precast takes about 10 minutes. Just be careful with the big metals, you can avoid it using dark side skill. We'll deal full damage in the blue zone. The range of soul attack is around his wing. If he folds his wing, you need to be right underneath to avoid his attack. Easy, right? Next, I do Critias Questline. If it's your main character, I highly recommend doing it as you can unlock the Critias Weekly Quest. With the coins you get from the weeklies, you can buy weekly boost clear reset tickets, which, which can be really helpful. I think around level 170 or 80 to level 200 is really hard. The mobs get much stronger and your character deals less damage, especially if it's your first character. Ew, I don't like this one. I got really freaked out when I first saw this growing so big. I was so stressed. I got tired of hunting wolves, so I started to cube. <laughs> Too bad that I don't have time to get the third line of potential. I use these gloves for now and I transfer hammer to Von Leon gloves once I get good flames. I have some percentage of luck for these temporal items too, as I have to solo Chaos Rutabis with these gears. But it's not recommended to waste your cubes to these temporal items. Uh, 3% attack. 
I keep it. I won't invest too much for these temporal gears. While doing the quest, you have to travel to Arab. Do not travel there, you get the magic spear to teleport. Same thing applies when you come back as well. Like I said, the magician maps are good, so if you don't know where to farm in Critias, I would recommend any map with magician mobs. If you are interested in the story, you can look it up too. You'll find the secret of Critias once you arrive on Moraz at level 230. I love this rune, it's so fun. Using rune extremely helps you survive in this hard red level range. I love this one and the rune of destruction with the purple gas. What's your favorite rune? Done. Hmm, should we go to Twilight Perion? No, maybe it's too early. The moves are too strong there. I recommend going there at least level 190 or level 192, especially if you don't have any link skills or legion. You can hunt the magician moves before going there. Wait, I barely need more XP to level up. There's also a quest that you should never miss out between levels 190 to 199. Go to Haven and talk to One Eye. Do a 5 minute story cast to get a decent amount of EXP. If you take this cast at level 199, when you have 47% of EXP, you will level up to 200 right away. Since I found some gold flowers, let's keep doing alchemy. As I reach it level 5, I can fuse level 130 Von Leon gears. After fusing, you can get 30 willpower again when first equipped. Let's try out Twilight Perion. I don't like here so dark and gloomy. Hey, I like bright and peaceful maps like Orbis, Chuchu Island, or Arab. <laughs> if you think that your character has less damage, you can also try Fox Village. You can you get EXP through the cats, and I like the map too. It has much higher burning than here. My first character in Reboot was Kinesis and it was so hard. I was hitting the moves like 3 times. There are really popular maps like Excavation Site 2 in Twilight Perion, but I prefer less popular maps so that I can visit Polo and Fredo porters and shops. Please! Die! <laughs> I won! Runes are always the best, especially if you have less damage. Level 196! Time to move to the next map. This map is my favorite in Twilight Period. The map is not so bad, and you can always find 100% burning. It would've been so hard if you didn't have the Asura skill. Whew. Yay! One more level to go! Let's defeat bosses because it's getting boring.
Let's try out new bosses like Chaos Hontail and Pink Bean. Oops, it keeps reducing to 1 HP and MP, so be careful. Remove arms ASAP would make it easier. Oh no! For pink pin, you need to defeat the 5 status first, the second one from left, the middle one, and pink pin reflect your attack so be aware of it. It's also recommended to prepare some orb cure potion as you will struggle from the abnormal status. Let's try a Chiron too. He has this screen crack skill that kills you immediately. So don't revive until your invincible skills cooldown is done. Asura's angle, final cut, and chains of hell are the skills of dual blade that can block the screen crack skill. Hey, let me take my money! Alright, let's get back to hunt monsters. The best thing of this map is that you can just change channel to keep 100% burning all the time. Oh la la! It's huge. I do the job advancement tomorrow as I already defeated Magnus. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and follow my Instagram. See you in the next videos. Bye!